सेवेंटींथ जुलै टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मधुपन अभ्यक्त बाम शांति रिवाइज एलेवेंथ ऑफ डिसम्बर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन दुरलिस टाइटल मैनर्स ऑफ रियालिटी मीन्स ट्रूथ आर रियल रॉयल्टी टूडी बाप दादा इट सिंग हिज एलिवेटेड फैमिली दैट इज हिज सिंग हिज रॉयल फैमिली throughout the entire cycle you elevated souls are the most royal souls in your eternal form of souls you are the most elevated royal souls and in your original form and the form of the deity souls you are also royal the royal family who have a right to the royal kingdom in your worthy of worship form you deity souls are worshiped with so much royalty none of the souls of other religions and no political leaders are worshiped in such a royal way in all three forms the eternal the original and the worthy of worship form no one is as royal as you because you souls have the royalty of purity neither has there been nor will there be such a completely pure souls in the entire cycle thus is the speciality of purity thus is why people only sing the praise in front of the deity souls you are completely voiceless they do not sing the praise for the righteous souls of any other religion people just sing praise of the elevated actions means kirti of the deity souls that is they only praise their elevated purity there is no singing of praise means kirtan singing devotional songs in any other religion the system of singing with the sound of instruments playing music is just for the deity souls and the shaktis of the confluence age thus is the attainment of the method of complete purity this is why no other soul has such a spiritual royalty as yours check to what extent you have imbibed such royalty of purity the most elevated sign of spiritual royalty that is of reality is truth just as the original form of souls is truth truth means imperishable as well as truth you especially sing praise of the father as the truth the benefactor and the most beautiful one it is said shiv is the truth god is truth so the praise of the father is the truth that of the truth in the same way royalty means reality truth is never made up or mixed up with anything whether in words actions or relationships and connections there is nothing made up or mixed up in plain language bab dada calls this honesty royal souls are those whose attitude vision words and activities will all be true it isn't that they would have one thing in their attitude and some other mixed intention in their words that is not called royalty or reality bamdada sees and hears the wonderful activities of the children nowadays many children are very clever at making up stories and mixing things why because they have been listening to many stories that have been made up and mixed up since the copper age so they allow that sanskar to emerge even in their brahman life they make up a story with such a beautiful form that they make something completely false true and they prove the truth to be false this is called being one thing internally and something else externally so would you call this royalty is this reality is this royalty it is not the royalty of such a purity is reality this one sign of royalty if you do not have the sign 
then understand that you do not have the royalty of purity yet or that you only have it to a certain percentage not fully the second sign of reality that babdada constantly tells you about is that when there is truth the soul continues to dance true souls will constantly continue to dance in happiness their happiness will not be less at some times and greater at other times day by day at every moment their happiness continues to increase the sign of reality is that they constantly dance in happiness you speak of the eyes and the features so then the meaning of royalty is that you will be constantly cheerful in your hearts and also in your features not just external cheerfulness but cheerfulness even in your heart a cheerful heart and a cheerful face both should be cheerful it often happens that your heart is not cheerful but at the time of having to be extroverted you show a smiling face this is called being cheerful temporarily but you should have a permanently cheerful heart and a cheerful face the royalty and reality of purity means that your heart is imperishable and your face is cheerful all the time check yourselves do not begin to check others but check yourself such royal souls are much loved by baptada and the entire brahman family what is the speciality of a really loved soul according to the systems of today you became attracted by some for for whom you have a lot of love in your language you call this attachment because you have love for that one there will be attachment will there not however if someone is truly loved the sign of such a real and raw love is that the more love you have the more detached you will be therefore neither that one himself develops extra attachment nor do others develop attachment for that one this is known as real love perfect love that soul will be cheerful and will also attract others but will not attract others in a limited way so what is the sign of someone who is real and royal he has deep love and great detachment another speciality of royalty is that that soul will not have the sanskar of asking for anything whether physical or subtle why is that a royal soul is always completely full one is to be full externally full of physical things full of physical facilities and the other is to be full in the mind someone who is full in the mind will never feel he is lacking anything even if he is not full of physical things or facilities because his mind is full even if something is not there he will experience it to be there however no matter how fully a soul may be with physical things and facilities if his mind is not full he will never consider himself to be full even though that soul has everything he will never consider himself to be full because of his desires such a soul constantly sings the song i want i want at all times that soul sings the song this should happen that should be done that should be received this should change that soul constantly sings these songs whereas a soul who is full and the mind constantly sings the song i have found i have attained to see this should happen this should be done and the sanskars of royal asking one is to think for the sake of unlimited service 
where you think this should happen, this should be done, to think about wanting something for the unlimited, for the sake of service is a different matter from having the thought of wanting some limited attainment for the self which is role asking, the desire for name, the desire for respect, the desire for honor, the desire for love, to want to be consulted. All of those are limited matters. A royal soul does not even have a trace of the sanskar of asking. Do you understand what royalty is? In your chart of tapasya, check all of this. Don't just check. I did not insult anyone. I did not get angry. But check all of these things and then claim a prize. The meaning of tapasya is to become completely pure. Check to what extent your personality of purity and your royalty of purity are practical. Such souls are known as tapasvi raj, means royal tapasvis. Do you understand what royal day is? Both the face and the activity of a royal soul will give the experience of the manners of truth. In any case, royal souls are known as goddesses of manners. They are speaking, they are walking, they are eating and drinking, sitting, standing their every action will automatically reveal the manners means sabhyata and the truth means satyata it should not be that you prove the truth and yet you do not have any manners many children say i don't normally get angry but when someone tells lies i get angry someone tells lies and you speak with anger who is right out of the two? Those who prove the truth will always have manners. Some are very clever and say, I don't get angry, but my voice is loud, my voice is sharp. With the instruments of science, one can reduce or increase the sound. So, can you not, with the power of silence, reduce or raise your sound, your tape recorder? and mic are better than you in that their sound can be reduced or increased. So check this along with the truth. Are there manners? If there aren't any manners, there is no truth. Let the royalty of purity be constantly visible externally. It would not be that you have royalty internally and that is not visible externally. If it is inside, it would definitely be visible outside. No one can hide the royalty of truth. Do not remain incognito and thus. Some say that they remain incognito because they are incognito effort makers. However, just as no one can hide the sun, so no one can hide the sun of truth. Nor can any reason or individual hide it. The truth is always the truth. The power of truth is the greatest power of all. Truth cannot be proved by trying to prove it. The power of truth automatically has the attainment of being proved. If anyone tries to prove the truth, then that proving becomes stubbornness. Therefore, truth is self-evident. There is no need to prove it. Do you understand? What do you have to show in the air of tapasya, the personality and the royalty of purity? Acha, the letters, the love and remembrance of effort, the service news and the spiritual conversations of the heart of all the children from this land and abroad have reached and are reaching Babdada. Babdada gives love and remembrance to all the children personally by name. Each of you should think that you have been remembered first because Babdada gives the response of love and remembrance in the avyakta form at that same moment. However, 
using the corporeal way. You write a corporeal letter. That is, you send love and remembrance. This is why Babdada gives love and remembrance in return in a corporeal way. Babdada knows that there is and there will be very good zeal and enthusiasm everywhere for tapasya and service through vibrations of your minds. Now keep even deeper aspects filled with significance in front of you and continue to make your efforts and service deeper and greater. All the children who are personally sitting in front of Baba now or who are in front of the father in the subtle form. All such children who are constantly in front of Bab Dada, that is who are constantly with the father, remain in his eyes, on his lips and in his mind. And the father remains in their eyes, on their lips and in their minds. To such elevated souls who are merged in remembrance to the souls who constantly stay in the reality and royalty of purity, to the souls who remain constantly full and complete in their minds, Babdada's love, remembrance and Namaste. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Meeting groups Do experience yourselves to be multi-million times fortunate souls no other souls have such an elevated fortune in the whole cycle no matter how well known souls are what is their fortune compared to your fortune theirs is temporary fortune and your brahman souls have imperishable fortune it is not just for this one birth but for birth after birth, to belong to the father means to receive the inheritance of fortune as a right. So you have received your right, have you not? To be a child means to have a right and inheritance. Do you have the intoxication of a right or does it go up and down? You have been coming down for half a cycle. So what do you want to do now? Do you want to walk, climb up or fly? Something that flies does not stop anywhere in the middle. If you stop, you will come down. If you stop even for a short time and then fly, how would you reach your destination? Therefore, continue to fly. However, who can continue to fly all the time? Those who are light so you are light are you not or do you have a burden of your body mind or relationships if you do not have any burden why do you stop something with a burden comes down and something light always stays up above all of you are double light are you not blessing may you be a complete trustee and finish the weakness of any consciousness of mind and experience fullness explanation if you live as an instrument according to the father Srimad, then you neither have my family nor my center you are a trustee while living with your family and while at a center it is the father's center not mine therefore it is always a treasure store means bhandari of father shiv and a bhandara means kitchen of father brahma by having this awareness you will experience fullness if you have any consciousness of mine there won't be anything left in the bhandara or the bhandari if there is anything lacking in any task, the reason for it is that you have the consciousness of mind. Instead of it being the father's, that is, impurity is mixed with it. 
Slogan In order to become equal to the Father, make all three your understanding, your desires, and your doing equal. Om Shanti Notice today is the third Sunday of the month and all Rajuki Tapasvi brothers and sisters especially practice meditation from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. with the awareness, be stable and the powerful form of being a master almighty authority and give the great donation of all powers. Listen to the call of those who are unhappy and uplift them. Om Shanti